Hello and welcome to Weather Watch, Millersville University's exclusive weather news program. I'm your host, Rachel Coulter. Over the course of this new season, two floods have been named some of the most severe in our country's history. Today we find out which flood takes the number three spot on the list on this segment of Weather Watch Top 5. Welcome back to the Weather Watch Top 5. Our third flood was labeled memorable and paralyzing in regards to the very severe weather that occurred with two confirmed tornadoes. Next on our countdown is the Louisiana flood of 1995. A 40-hour heavy rain event took place across the middle of the Gulf of Mexico near Louisiana and Mississippi. A shortwave trough of low pressure fueled by excessive dew points coupled with a subtropical jet stream positioned along a stationary front triggered extreme rainfall which persisted across the coastal area of Mississippi and southeastern Louisiana through May 8th to May 10th, 1995. Intense rainfall in southeastern Louisiana resulted in severe urban flooding in New Orleans, Slidell, and many small towns in the state. About 10 to 20 inches of rain fell across most of the area. The highest amount was about 27 inches in Hancock County. Tragically, seven deaths occurred. Damage assessments exceeded a staggering $6 billion, making it one of the most costly weather-related events in the United States history. Reporting for Weather Watch, I'm student meteorologist Kelly Livingston. Recent years have shown to be relentless in the form of severe weather. Unfortunately, needs still exist when severe weather comes our way. Our own Katie Pritchard had the opportunity to go to local grocery stores and hear how they prepare for the arrival of a storm. As we all know, weather has an effect on everything around us. Businesses are no exception when storms come knocking. Grocery stores deal with the daily rush of customers, but all it takes is one storm prediction to cause quite the stir. Oh, it certainly slows down the transportation of goods here. Um, when you have a global snowstorm in Lancaster County, it certainly affects all the roads. It makes it difficult for the transportation of the goods to get here. So people think you, you, you sell a lot of extra goods during the these snow events. Uh, at the end of the day, it all works out to a wash because they buy them here and they don't buy them at the end of the week. Much preparation is made before a storm comes. It is the job of both managers and employees to cope with the onslaught of customers and delayed shipments. During snow events, we put extra personnel on. It costs extra money because we have to remove the snow from the parking lot, uh, put ice melt down to make it safe for people to get from their car into the store. During other type of storms, not so much. Um, People come prior to thunderstorm to get home before the storm hits. Um, but as far as costing us or making us do extra things, probably not. If they're calling for a large event, we have to bring extra people in to stock the shelves because people want to make the deliveries a day early uh, to get away from the hazards out on the roadway. Storms affect stores in both positive and negative ways. It just goes to show weather not only has an impact on the normal concerns of safety and travel, but on the wallets of the customers and the hectic workload of the employees. Reporting for Weather Watch, I'm student meteorologist Katie Pritchard. Thanks, Katie. Well, that's all we have for you on this episode of Weather Watch. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at the addresses shown below. You can also check out an entire listing of our episodes at muweatherwatch.com. On behalf of our entire cast and crew, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.